Have you ever tried to trace down your family tree? Well, a lot of people these days are enthusiastic about exploring their heritage. In our final story, Ken Wilshire profiles a lady who's living her heritage and helping others find it as well. This beautiful Native American jewelry is the artwork of Connie Shaw. Her Cherokee Indian heritage is what inspired her to begin making these unique, traditional, and contemporary pieces of jewelry. For years, she and her husband Ken traveled with a tribal delegation throughout the world as he filmed and documented the tour. Not only were the trips informative and enlightening, but they were life-changing experiences for Connie. So I actually learned while I was traveling for eight years, I, I learned on the road from various different tribes. So when you look at a piece of my jewelry, you're not going to see a specific tribe. You're not going to see necessarily Lakota, Cherokee, uh, Choctaw. You're not going to see that. You're going to see a native piece of jewelry where I've taken what I've learned and then made that into my own design. The native people who purchased from me the comment they always tell me is, you know what I love about this? It's different. I know it's native, but it's different. It's not what I always see. Um, it has an edge to it, and, and I think they like that. The non-native people who come in and purchase from me love the native culture and, and want to, to be a part of that. Connie wants others to be part of her journey as well. Her studio, called The Artisan Company, is located at the factory in Franklin. And it's not simply a place for her to design, create, and display her own works of art. She feels it needs to be much more. My heart was always to have other Native artists with me that were local people that needed a place to put their work. And that's exactly what it's turned out to be. I have six other artists in here with me. We're all tribes east of the Mississippi River. Obviously, we have Cherokee in here because you're in Cherokee territory. We have Cherokee, Choctaw, Creek, Seminole, Iroquois, and Mohawk represented in this one space. Some of us do traditional things. Some of us do ultra-contemporary. So when you come in, you know it's a native shop. It has a native feel. It's comfortable. But you can get anything from traditional to eclectic things here. While much of Connie's work is custom-made, her shop is filled with a wonderful variety of bracelets, necklaces, earrings, and so much more. One of the most popular pieces of jewelry Connie makes is the corn bead necklace. It's not only beautiful, but it's also deeply rooted in Native American tradition. It is the one piece of jewelry that is very difficult for me to keep in my shop because it does commemorate the Trail of Tears. It's a very simple piece of jewelry. It's, it's a complete circle. There's no clasp or anything on it. It is a complete circle. It is made with seeds from a plant called a corn plant. That plant grows all along the trail. But the legend behind it is, is when the Cherokee were removed on the Trail of Tears, as they walked the trail and cried, when their tears would hit the ground, a plant would grow. And when the plant would grow and open, the seeds would fall out like tears. And if she weren't talented enough, right. Connie has a degree in secondary education and she's taught special needs children. She's also pursuing a career in music and is currently with a musical group in Nashville, where she still uses her hands to create sounds rather than jewelry. But these aren't the only reasons people come to see Connie. I think the other reason why is because we build relationships. The table I'm sitting at right here was put here for a reason. It's so when someone comes in my shop, they can sit down, they can read a newspaper in here. They can have a cup of coffee. They can share their heart. They can share their heritage. And it's a safe place for people to come to be who they are. This has become a community here. And this little small space has really become a community for both natives and non-natives, and even for natives and non-natives to come together to understand each other. 
So Connie's journey began by listening to her family and her Native American mentors. Now, while she's inspired to use her hands to design and compose each piece of art, it's her heart that shapes all her creations and her heritage that guides her along the trail. For me, it's a journey that I've always wanted to take. I've always wanted to know that side of my heritage. I know my Celtic side very well, but I also identified with that Native side and just having the opportunity to spend the time I've spent with the Native people I have and, and just what they've brought to my life and the understanding they've brought to my life as to why I'm like I am and why I do what I do is priceless. <laughs>